The first satellite-carrying rocket to be built in the UK for launch in Scotland has been unveiled in Murray. Company Orbex says it will create almost 170 jobs in the north as it manufactures the rockets to carry commercial satellites from a launch site in Sutherland. Well, Nicola McCallie is live in for us, for us tonight. Uh, Nicola, this really does seem like an announcement that is a wee bit out of this world. Well, absolutely great excitement here in Murray this evening and you'd perhaps expect when it comes to anything space, things move pretty fast. Just last summer we heard about plans for the UK's first spaceport to be built up in Sutherland. Well, today we have had the unveiling of the first commercial rocket to carry these commercial satellites and it's going to be built the factory is going to be here in Murray and the company behind it is promising to create up to 170 jobs. The future of satellite technology unveiled in forests. This rocket will carry small satellites into Earth's orbit to beam back commercial information. It's a UK first that has astronomical potential. There's a range of applications for these satellites. Some of them will have cameras on to look down at Earth so they can monitor things like ice movements or pollution or migration patterns. Some of them will be communications devices, so there are more networks of communications in orbit that provide internet and uh, voice calling for remote regions. Um, some of the customers we announced today, um, for example, SSTL from the UK and Astrocast from Switzerland are in both those two applications, for example, Earth observation and communications. Orbeck says they'll create 130 jobs in forests and a further 40 at the Moyne in Sutherland, unveiled last year as the site of the UK's first spaceport, where they'll be launched. Well, this is the business end of the space rocket. This is the thing that powers it into space. And then this is probably the most interesting part of it, is the engine. This engine is extremely lightweight. It weighs around seven kilograms, but it, it can lift in three and a half tonnes of mass. So it's extremely powerful. And it's actually 3D printed in a single piece. Um, which is very innovative. It's probably the world's largest 3D printed rocket engine today and that was done in-house by Orbex. Hopefully this is the start of something really, really significant for the Highlands and Islands and exactly that point, yes, we're looking at launch facilities in Sutherland but there are other parts of the Highlands and Islands that are developing really ambitious projects too and we'd hope that we can use this great, uh, fantastic opportunity of developing a new sector for Scotland, for the Highlands and Islands to make sure that we get benefits across the region. And the company's already attracted multi-million pound contracts. We do connectivity for Internet of Things. What is Internet of Things is all these assets that can be connected on the ground. It could be a remote generator in, in Africa, it could be uh, tracking containers, and we'll offer connectivity uh, on the whole world. Not only the 10 persons that are connected with territorial network, but the remaining 90%. The first rocket is due to launch in 2021, putting Scotland firmly on the map in the global space technology race. Well, according to Orbex, this rocket is one of the greenest in the world when it comes to the type of fuel it's using, and it's packed full of innovations, and it actually won't be just the once it will be able to be used. This will be reusable. Now, when it comes to satellites, Scotland actually builds quite a lot of these small-scale satellites already and the companies that want to use them say this rocket will make it quicker, cheaper and easier for them to do that. Orbeck says with multi-million pounds contracts already on the books, the only way is up. <laughs> Thanks very much for that, Nicola. Thank you.